Actually, no, I'm going to make it to another account. I'm not going to go to the loan. I'm going to make another account. It's going to be a liability account. So I got to come up with a number. That's why I'm in here. Let's make it, uh, let's make it two, four, three, five. So I'm going to go up top and say, add type. It's going to be a liability. We'll just type in the number before I forget it. Two, four, three, five and then it's going to be a liability current liability name loan payable which you might also call accrued uh interest or not loan payable interest which you might also call accrued interest sorry about that my head's not working right now all right so there we have it so that looks good so let's go ahead and post it and check it out posting it and then checking it out balance sheet let's hit the update and we have then uh the the loan payable account down here is in the liability section loan payable now has the interest payable so there's the 7292 notice that you see it in here as a, a journal entry and that's good and also note that we recorded it as of the end of february and that's i just want to point that out because oftentimes people are like well yeah if you if you put it in there as of the end of february you're correct i guess as of that date but what about the day before february the income statement if you ran it before feb before the end of february up up to up to the 27th it would be wrong and you're right you, you could say well why don't i why don't i try to make this adjustment so that it so that it records periodically every day correctly uh for you know why because that's tedious right it would be tedious to do that it would also make it harder to see that this is an adjusting entry and uh and so and we'd and it would be more confusing on the bookkeeping side and we'd have all these journal entries right so we want to make we want to say yeah we're just we're going to sacrifice the fact that it's not exactly correct for that 15 day period before the end of the year but for us reporting as of year end, then our, our income statement is correct for for that whole time frame. That's the idea. Okay, so we're gonna go back and then on the income statement, if I update this one, we reported then interest expense. This is internet. We should have had, no, I put it down here. There it is, interest expense. Uh, so let's go into that and check it out so we've added another 7292 so that looks good okay so that's the general idea that's a classic basically kind of adjusting entry because it has one balance sheet account and one income account although again it's kind of a small adjusting entry due to the type of loan that we had here let's open up another report let's open up the journal report so i'm going to duplicate a tab and if we want to see the adjusting entries we've put in place we can open up that journal report, accounting dropdown, reports, and I can open up the journal report and check it out. Let's change the date up top, hitting the date dropdown. We're just going to make it for the day that we uh, did the adjusting entry. So at the end of January, January, oh, I'm sorry, the end of February, February 28 to February 28 update february 28 to february 28 update so so now you can see that uh you can see our adjusting entry having a manual journal entry which notice that they kind of marked off and they designated as the manual journal entries those are the ones that are likely that we put in place so so now we can kind of run a report fairly easy easily and indicate which transactions are period end transactions because one they're entered as of February 28, although a lot of other transactions were entered as of February 28. But two, they're gonna be manual journal entries that we entered as of that date. And three, we're usually gonna be indicating in the description that these are adjusting entries. And you can further filter by hitting the drop down up here and say you just wanna say the posted manual journals only. So it's not gonna show us all the other all the other journals that were that were entered we have just the manual transactions now note that even that isn't perfect 
because I still have these other transactions. You'll recall that I entered a payroll transaction that's a norm that's part of the normal journal entry process with a payroll here. So that's why we still, even with a manual journal entries, need to be indicating that these are the adjusting entries. We can also export these reports to Excel. And if we were to provide them to the bookkeeper to show, you know, what we did as on the accounting or adjusting department, we can then further filter this report. We can also try to filter it up top further, but I think the easiest way to filter it from here would be to export it to Excel and just delete the items that are not uh, the journal entries that are part of the adjusting entry process. So we can provide the adjusting entries only uh, if we need to whoever to whoever needs them. All right, let's also open a trial balance just to see where we stand at this point. Accounting dropdown reports. And we're going to be opening up the trial balance, the trustee trial balance, the good old T to the B, not tuberculosis trial balance and we're going to say let's do a custom date as of the cutoff date which is 228 feb 28 that's the cutoff date so uh of 2023 2023 why is it in 2022 k paso por favor all right so if your numbers tie out to these then that's great if not, uh, then maybe it's a timing issue. If you were on before uh, and you're off uh, this time, then the adjustments we made were, of course, to the new liability interest payable account we put in place, as well as the interest uh, expense account.